Welcome to our channel Dr. For Kids. In this corona period, all over India, the schools are all closed. Now, all over India, the schools and colleges have resorted to online teaching method. But in this online teaching method, all these schools are doing a major mistake. So, this video is regarding the discussion of that mistake. So, before we get into this video, please click the like button below this video. It will be useful for me. Today among parents, we see two kinds of reaction for these online classes. One group of parents say, oh my god, online classes will affect my child's eyes. It will affect my child's health. So I will, I will not allow this. Another group of parents say, oh super sir, put classes, put as many number of classes you want. You put seven classes, eight classes per day. We all will be happy. So these are the two type of reactions from parents. But both these reactions are wrong. So what is correct? Online teaching is not an alternate for regular school teaching. Regular schools has normally 40 minute period and there will be about 8 periods in a day. But the same will not apply to online classes. The educational experts all over the India recommend that an online class should be of a duration of maximum 30 minutes. In this 30 minutes, 20 minutes teaching should be done and 10 minutes for taking attendance. Like this, 30 minutes online classes can be taken for only 2 times. That means only 2 online classes can be conducted in a day. Between these 2 30 minutes classes, there should be 30 minute break. So totally, we can devote only 1.5 hours for online classes in a day. Online classes cannot be equated to regular school teaching. Online classes are like pickles for curd rice. You can eat curd rice without pickles also. But when you eat curd rice with pickle, it adds some taste to it. So that is the role of online classes in our current educational scenario. But schools all over the world think that because of this corona situation, now online should be the alternate. So what they are doing now is they are putting 40 minute classes and like this they are doing 8 periods in a day. Same like a regular school timetable which should not be applied here in online classes. Now the next question that will arise is how to complete the portion if you conduct only just 2 classes in a day. So for that purpose what the schools can do is they can do 2 classes, online classes, live classes and then two homeworks in these two homeworks one homework should be a worksheet activity based and another should be a reading homework with some test for evaluation also when you give homework like this the children may get many doubts to clear the doubts of the children the online platforms like whatsapp can be used so like this if they plan there will be two classes plus two homeworks so there will be four activities in a day which is more than enough to keep the children occupied and second thing this live classes should not be applied to children children who are below 5th standard. The online classes can be conducted above 5th and above but not below that. And most importantly, if you watch the children who are uh, attending the online classes, in the evening if you see the children will be just uh, uh, scratching their eyes. So this is an early indicator of eye problem which is going to happen. So that's why it is advisable to give some eye exercises at the end of online sessions. Another mistake the schools are doing is, now the most of the online classes are conducted with the help of PowerPoint. You know the PowerPoint has a slide. Almost all the children are using the mobile phone for their online classes. So if you see the slide in the mobile phone, so the letters will be very small, but the teachers will type the PowerPoint slides in their laptop. So they will use six lines per slide. But when you convert it into a mobile screen, this six lines itself is a very small and difficult to see in a mobile screen. So whenever the PowerPoint mobile screen is used, the teachers should take care that they type only two lines in that slide, not more than that. And it should be bigger font letters so that the children will be able to read it properly so that they won't be staring keenly to read what is there on the screen which will strain their eyes. So all the students and parents who are watching this video, they should make it mandatory that if at all the child is attending the online classes at the end of one and a half hour session, they should do at least three eye exercises, which I am going to demonstrate to you now. So the first eye exercise is palming technique. You have to rub your hands as fast as possible so that heat is generated between your palms. So with this palming technique, you generate the heat and then keep the palms over your eyes and you, your eyes should feel that warmth, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right, repeat it, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, in this palming technique the most important thing is the heat generated between the palms. So, like this you have to do for 5 times. This is the first exercise. Second exercise is eyeball rolling. Just close your eyes, look up 12 o'clock position, look sidewards 3 o'clock position, look downwards 6 o'clock position, look sidewards 9 o'clock position. You just rotate it, you repeat it 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9. So, like this. So, like this you have to do for 36 times right side that is clockwise rotation and now you have to repeat it on the left side that is anti-clockwise direction for 36 times that is 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, right. You have to do this for 36 times. Now, this is the second exercise. Now, the third exercise is you have to give some touch therapy like something like a acupressure therapy for 4 points around your eyes. Okay, I will show you what are those points. These points are bony prominences around your eyes. The first point is right here just in between your nose and eyes you can feel a bony prominence. Just touch that bony prominence, give a slight pressure and give a count of 1 to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the second bony prominence lies here in the arch of your eyebrow. This is your second point. Give the count of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pressure. Now, the third point lies here. Give the same count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The fourth point lies here. This is the fourth bony prominence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like this, you repeat this for 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right. So, these are the 3 exercises which you have to give to your child at the end of the online session. So, after seeing this video, I hope the schools change their routine plan of giving a full-fledged school timetable and convert it into a online version so that they make only two classes in a day and they give two homework and if they make this eye exercise also mandatory it will be really beneficial for the physical and mental health and eye health of the children so i hope this video was really useful for you if you like this video kindly click that like button subscribe this channel for more such useful videos in the future until then goodbye from dr karthikeyan